with the KX News Storm Team. 5.46 on the dot. Welcome back to Good Day Dakota here on this Thursday morning. You are unthawed after being outside for a live shot showing us just how windy it was here yeah. in the Bismarck area. The uh, it's, it's a lot better today. <laughs> a lot calmer today. A lot calmer. Winds will definitely are already calm this morning. Continue to stay like that through the rest of the day. Be a good time for road crews to catch up and for everyone else uh, to catch up on their sidewalks and their driveways. Speaking of which, however, to the east of us, things aren't looking so hot no, right no, now. No, not right now, not yet. We see on our road conditions map uh, right now uh, to the east, no travel advised for the whole eastern portion of the state. 94 east and westbound between Bismarck and Fargo still is closed. There were some areas between Jamestown and Valley City where roads were totally blocked off by snow drifts and heavy uh, snow fall got a little bit more there so something we'll deal with today but again a better day for crews to catch up with won't be dealing with much of that blowing snow uh, won't be dealing with any more falling snow obviously you still have a travel alert up to the north northwest the road's still not going to be perfect today still got to be careful as you hit the roads if you are planning to go out and about through uh, the rest of the day but satellite and radar light cloud cover to the north northeast we're also seeing this light light snow just south of Dickinson we'll see light snow on and off uh, throughout much of the western and south central portion of of the state today, but accumulations of anything will be a light dusting at most. You'll see a flake or two though uh, throughout the day. Temperatures right now, uh, single digits, some teens even near zero up in Crosby right now. Uh, even some 20s down to the southwest, a little bit warmer. We'll continue to warm up during the day. Wind speeds and directions five to let's say 15 miles per hour, but direction we're really everywhere. We're seeing mostly in the central portion of the state, these west northwest winds and then down to the west southwest. Uh, we got those more of those south southeast winds. So winds are going to stay calm. Direction will be sort of all over the place throughout the day. Maybe we'll equalize to more of a north wind as we get through today. Wind chills right now. Uh, we are seeing some single digits and some teens below zero and out to the southwest where you are warmer. It is warm and wind chills may not be a factor much longer here, at least the next few days. We can see we'll continue to warm up. We'll get to the 20s for Saturday night, the 30s Sunday night, and then we get above freezing uh, Monday and Tuesday night. Uh, that's where uh, melting snow is going to be an issue, so we'll have to keep an eye on uh, some flooding issues. Could occur uh, to start next week, but that's something everyone is going to be monitoring as we get closer to that warm up next week. Uh, through this afternoon, uh, 20s for the central portion of the state out west. You do get into the lower 30s, upper 30s, even some lower 40s. Uh, to the southwest. Precision cast, not much to see a quieter pattern. We will have some light snow possible again to the south central out to the west, even some rain in those areas above freezing to the southwest. Uh, but then that quickly moves out Friday morning and we'll actually have a nice sunny day. Friday that leads to some light cloud cover Saturday morning, but that will lift. We'll have some sun by the end of the day Saturday. And then on Sunday, we actually have another nice sunny day. Just a really quiet pattern for the weekend and the start of next week. Your highs tomorrow, even warmer. Upper 20s, lower 30s. As you move out west, upper 30s, upper 40s, even some lower 50s going to be possible. Your Dickinson three-day forecast got us at 33 today, 39 tomorrow, 48 on Saturday. Williston, 34 today, 39 tomorrow, 40 for your Saturday. Your Minot seven-day forecast, really similar warm-up. We'll get up to the 30s Saturday and then on Sunday up to the 50s even the 60s could be possible on Tuesday your Bismarck seven day forecast similar as well 30s till Saturday those 40s for Sunday then those 50s to start next week with some sunshine could get a little bit breezy though uh, to start next week you know, I was looking forward to a Sunday which is much warmer but then Tuesday here at Bismarck anyway looks fantastic yeah, Tuesday's the day you're gonna see areas could be in the 70s out west wow. uh, it's gonna be possible and wow. obviously here in the 50s and 60s in the central portion yep all right Stone thanks very much well, plenty of stories ahead on Good Day Dakota, including...